One of the many areas of change when it comes to Cisco networking is the overall network topology architecture. For the longest time, we taught and praised the wonders of a three-tier architecture, but now with changes to how networking is being carried out, there's more and more popularity with two-tier architectures. But let's just go back in time a little bit right now, and let's revisit when we emphasized a three-tier architecture. Here you can see one drawn out for you. So notice we have a bottom tier and it's got access points in it and our layer two transparent switches. And the job of that tier, often called the access or workstation tier, is to get people onto the network. Then a middle tier that we often call the distribution tier, and this tier is to take the traffic coming up from that access tier and move it, often doing things like quality of service and security work, move it into what we call the network core or the backbone layer of the architecture. In the backbone layer, we're concerned with one thing, and that's speed. Kind of reminds me of the old real estate saying, right? Where it's location, location, location. In the backbone layer, it's all about speed. Now, this is all fine and good, this three-tiered hierarchy where we can define the role of the network components based on where they're located. But as I said, what has become very popular is two-tier architectures, in fact, the first time we saw a real famous example of the two-tier architecture was with what we called the collapse core. You see, in this two-tier architecture, we are basically taking the distribution layer and collapsing it into the core layer. So it's much more simple. We have an access layer down here, and then we have our modified core layer, and it makes this nice two-tier architecture, which makes things a bit simpler when we're doing our designs. There is this super popular two-tier called the spine and leaf, and we'll be taking a look at that in the upcoming video. So three-tier and two-tier network architectures have certainly been popular in Cisco networking. And in this video, we took a look at that kind of classic hierarchical three-tiered network architecture from Cisco Systems with that access layer, a distribution layer, and a core layer. And we discussed two-tier architectures, particularly the collapsed core design that has been popular. I hope you're excited for the next video where we'll take a look at that new spine and leaf topology.